Hi, welcome back. On this lecture here, I'm going to discuss video quality, how to download your exercise files, how to use the practice application, and how to subscribe to new lecture emails. So now, going to video quality, as you can see right here in front of you, we have this PHP looks really blurry right now, right? So what we need to do is we need to grab and click on the HD button right here and that is going to clear everything for us everything's gonna look crispy clear as you can see right here alright so make sure your HD button is turned on if you turn it off it looks really blurry alright so that would be close to your controls when you see your volume right here on the left side you're gonna have your, that HD button alright now to download the exercise files it's super simple go to your right hand side here you're gonna find a, a whole bunch of lectures click on this tab right here and this tab is going to have your lectures and that's if you are in a desktop you should have the same interface as me maybe later on uh, the platform will change it uh, Udemy will change it but right now this is the way it is alright so when I tell you to download your exercise files or any file for the specific lecture go to this link right here on your right hand side right here okay so when you download it you're gonna get a zip file like this right make sure you extract it so I'm just gonna double click it in my machine and I'm gonna extract it if you're on a Windows machine make sure you right you right click on it and extract all to your desktop once you have that folder it's gonna be called demo all right I want you to grab your if you remember we got your um, the server location is on the folder called HDD uh, HD docs actually not digs <laughs> HD docs right here and in my case is in under application and because I'm in a Mac machine so under applications the folder called ZAMP and then HD docs right for you if you are on a Windows machine it could be it will be on your C drive on a folder called ZAMP and then on another folder called HD docs right this is where your server location is your root directory for your server so what you're gonna do is if you want to use your exercise files what you want to do is drag that folder into that HD docs and then you can use it there all right now later on just because this lecture that you're watching right now was made after I made a lot of files or a lot of exercise a lot of lectures um, I later on I'm gonna tell you to make a folder called demo right now you can't have two folders named the same in the same directory so what you want to do is right now if you want you can go ahead and rename this and it doesn't really matter it's not gonna affect our practical application but you can rename it if you want and can you can say demo 2 it's up to you right now you can say demo 2 and then you can access your your app practical app like that or your files and just to access those files all you have to do is go to your local host and then you click on demo tool or demo whatever f name you gave to that folder that we just downloaded and then here you're gonna find all your files inside the demo folder or the demo tool in my case now because I just renamed it you're gonna find another folder called practical app and this is where your practical app application will be located at alright so make sure now some of you when you go to your local host you're gonna get something like this right that's totally fine that's just uh, exam redirecting you to their index.php page all you have to do is take the parameter off and type in the name of the folder here alright or the folder that you want to access in our case it's gonna be demo 2 now because we just renamed it alright and then we go to our practical app and we can access our practical app like this later on we're gonna do different things in our practical app here and it's gonna show up on the screen alright I would show you how to do that but just know that that later on I will tell you to make another folder called demo just rename the folder so that way you can have both folders here all right now one thing about the exercise files that each of them have a number in front of it that's the lecture numbers sometimes they jump from one number to another that means that either this like this one here 29 jump to 31 that means on 30 I don't have a lecture uh, regarding files that doesn't that does not have a file so we have lecture 31 32 and 33 for this specific file 
That's why th these numbers are back to back right here. And when it jumps from 34 to 57, that means that I have the files in the in another folder. And in this case, it's going to be uh, my SQL files. So they're going to be here. It's going to be PHP files, but we're going to be doing MySQL queries and things like that. All right. So just know that the rest of the 30, 30 something, 34, 35, 36 are going to be located right here. All right. So now that we finished with that, next thing is that I want to explain to you how to subscribe to our new lectures emails. All right. So let's go to our course. Actually, I think I'm in somebody else's course because I have to be just to show you how to do this. So in this screen here, which is going to be very similar to your screen when you go to my course, click on this gear button right here and make sure that you subscribe to the new lecture emails. Since I make new lectures about this course all the time, all right? So you're going to have something like this. Make sure that it is checked and the announcements, emails, and promotional emails. I send very important emails. Sometimes I give away courses or I just make new lectures, all right? So make sure that you are subscribed. Again, I will be making another folder later on called demo. Just rename the folder here so you don't have any conflict. Okay, so it was a pleasure showing you how to do this, and I'm looking forward to helping you uh, finish this course and get the best out of it. Take care, and I'll see you on the lectures.